Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Willys. This is the two-door model and it's kind of a unique like lime green exterior color. New for 2024 is going to be the updated front end, most specifically the grille. You're still going to have the side marker lights on the fender flares as well as the same style front bumper. So on this guy, everything is going to be gloss black accent color. You're going to have the plastic regular bumper with LED fog lamps, LED headlights, black molded fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have a BF Goodrich all-terrain tire and that's a 285-70R17. Your trail rated 4x4 badge is going to be right here and your Jeep Wrangler badge is going to be right there. This guy does come with rock sliders, and uh, honestly, the, the two-door Jeep is the perfect off-roading vehicle. Black mirror caps with blind spot monitoring, passive entry so you can unlock and lock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. This guy obviously does have the top off, lockable fuel cap, LED tail lamps right here with your blind spot monitor right there. We're also going to have a tow recovery hook on the driver's side. Your hitch is going to be right there and you have a 4-pin and 7-pin connector to the left of the trailer hitch. Full-size spare with your backup camera. You also have passive entry on the rear um, trunk lid itself. Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. There's your little four-wheel drive decal on the passenger side. Really unique exterior color, like I said. And I love these little two-door Jeeps. They're so awesome. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Turning over here on the driver's side door, we have your lock and unlock buttons, all the mirror controls for the vehicle, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the dashboard, it is a very small dashboard with these nice storage trays for the driver and passenger. Working our way down into the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a nice LCD screen in the middle. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a really soft leather wrapped steering wheel with extremely mild bolsters at 10 and 2. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, we have the control buttons for the center LCD display, as well as your steering wheel mounted call buttons. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have your gap adjustment for your cruise control, as well as your regular cruise control buttons. This guy does have a push button start. That brings us to this massive touchscreen display. It does have wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. As you can see, it's got the card system. You can control the comfort through here, as well as your navigation. And being a Jeep, you have your off-road Jeep pages within the apps. Very, very cool, very responsive and very high definition. Like I said, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has a 4G LTE connection and is enabled with Amazon Alexa. Underneath that, you have all of the uh, physical controls for the uh, air conditioning as well as your volume controls for the radio. Heated steering wheel button is going to be right here. Heated captain's chair for the driver and passenger are going to be right there. And this is a dual zone system. Right here we have your mute button for the radio, automatic start stop off, it is on by default. You have your traction control off button to the right of that, hazard light button in the middle, parking sensors off, this is your trail control mode which is like cruise control at low speeds, and then your screen off button. Under that you have the window controls for the vehicle as well as a 12 volt outlet and a media hub over here with an auxiliary jack, USB and USB type C. You also have a rear locker right here, as well as uh, it looks like you have your axle lock button for just the rear, hold up. This is your differential lock, this is your axle lock, and then this is your off-road plus mode button. Four auxiliary upfitter switches are going to be right here. Manual transfer case, shifter with manual plus minus, two cup holders with a cutout that is perfect for the key fob, parking brake, nice armrest that doubles as a storage compartment with a USB outlet in there and cutouts on driver or passenger side for cord management. Here's a closer look at the cloth seats. 
grab handle for off-road conditions right here. Glove box is gonna be right there. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Driver vanity gets a three-door universal garage remote. Right here we have your assistant SOS buttons and then we have your non-auto dimming mirror. Uh, nice interior, I do like the updated touchscreen display. I love how it's horizontal like that. Um, even at its lar longest point over, I can touch the top right corner and not have to worry about straining and um, taking myself and putting myself in a awkward position while driving. Now, because this is the two door, you can't access the rear seats. Um, however, I am way too big to fit back there. You pull these little drawstrings and the seats do push forward, both driver and passenger seats. You have LED dull map lights up top on the B pillar for the uh, driver and passenger. And then in the back, they got moved to the driver and passenger side for the rear occupants. I'm gonna get out real quick. And I'm gonna kinda go back here. It looks like the rear occupants do not have any sort of controls for the front windows at all. But like I said, their LED dome map lights and speaker grills are right there. Coming to the back, to open the rear of the vehicle, you pull on this handle. There would be glass here typically, and then you would just pull up on that. Uh, it looks like these seats do fold flat, which is nice. You can pull these things, get the headrest down, and then pull on some sort of, there's some sort of system to get these seats to fold, I believe. Oh, right in the middle, duh, right here. Subwoofer in the floor, right here. And then you have the storage for the bolts and stuff for the windshield, the doors, and the top. 12 volt outlet is gonna be right above the LED cargo light on the driver's side. Close the door and you're good to go. Here's a window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2024 Wrangler starting at 31,895. Right here we have all of the options for the Wrangler Willis two door. There's your specs. There's the new technology and advanced safety features as well as your Willys features right there. Very cool. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content and vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel and be sure to go over and head over to Twitter or X and give me a follow there as I will be posting all of the auto show content exclusively on X first. Also, it'd be a huge help if you checked out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.